All right, it's time for some more Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. So last time we finished up, uh, thanks little story. Now we're going on to the next one. So my microphone settings kind of got screwed up the other day. So hopefully my mic sounds better. Although I checked the VODs of, uh, like a dragon ones, and I don't know, it still kind of sounded off to me. But yeah, I guess Windows just decided to, like, corrupt my mic settings. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole That's in a loyal tanker snake. full of crew barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shaft. See, I'm starting a bit late. So I'm gonna just do half an hour less today. Yet. It takes time. I mean, it did half an hour more a yesterday. Mark, a symbol of environmental protection. It'll even out. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming um. the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in That's luck. Right. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. 
All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of a lot of VR missions. Mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. Mm, yeah. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. What's that supposed to do? Sounds good. <laughs> Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct hey, of fiber on. optics research. Hey, come on. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit. I like that they talk about this like crazy, and yet he's the same as Snake, just gameplay-wise. I must just try to say that it makes him like Snake. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. Like usual, this first screen is uh, one of the harder ones. Every time they do this, when you have no weapons, it's usually the toughest part. Gotta get my bearings again. Isn't this where you get the shaver? What do we start with? None and... AP sensor and scope. I don't think I've ever used the AP sensor. Does it, what does it do? Does it vibrate your controller? Can you get over there? Bugs. Get out of here, bugs. How come I can't? Can you not do a pull up here? Am I too far over? I thought that's how you do it. Maybe it's from the back touchpad? No? Oh, I hope it's not the back touchpad. Huh. Maybe you just can't do them here. So why is it that every time I try to use the back touchpad, it doesn't seem to work? Nothing's wrong with my Twita's back touchpad. Got your feet wet? These are the basic controls for swimming. When you're on the surface, you can swim in corresponding directions using the up, down, left, and right movement of the left stick. Push the punch button to dive down from the surface. The punch button, you say? Is there any reason to go under here? Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. 
the O2 gauge Why does his voice sound different when he does that? You're underwater. Did they re-record the that? Corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Probably Once for the, the collection. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Oops. Nothing down here, right? Oh my god, I can't see. Yeah, I guess you can't go any further down. I do want to figure out that pull-up thing. Didn't I do it a snake in this one? Maybe you just can't do it in this area. Just do it in an area like this. So hit this and... Can't seem to get it to work. So it's either hitting the R2 and L2. I'm pretty sure I think that's what it's supposed to be. Or it's using the back touchpad. Which is not doing anything when I touch it. I don't know. We'll figure it out later, I guess. Anything down here? Oh, you can't grab on this railing. Someone just got knocked out. Grenades. All his equipment is Russian made. Must be a Grulukovich man. Grulukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal. An arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries. An army without a country. another intruder in here besides me that's not a possibility not a team looks like a solo job one man yeah we may not know who he is but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area they're all out cold whoever he is he's got some skills we need to get an id but for now you can take advantage of the situation and get to work there's a terminal in front of the elevator a node did you say nerd? <laughs> Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. 
The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Isn't there... I can't remember if there's a spot to... There's no walkers or anything? Let's get... Raiden, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Why not? You should know that all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. The owner enters their required user ID information during the weapon registration or at the start of a mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. But these are black market Russian weapons. How can they be equipped with identification functionality? They must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. I'm guessing it's the same for the Navy SEALs gear? Right. How am I supposed to procure weapons then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find Convenient. in the item box <laughs> is clean. You should know this from your VR training. Okay, I know those. Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. I don't know if they wake up over time or after I activate the uh, elevator. I'll put them all in a cute little pile here. Just so they're not going to wake up next to me. I doubt someone's gonna come down in the elevator. I can't remember. I think that's only the first game. Look at them in their cute little pile. Oh, maybe someone actually does come down though. I am playing this on hard, so. <laughs> Sure, that's normal. <laughs> I kept that from before. Uh, I guess I'll just put the phone. I could probably, I don't know if it'll, it'll let me fit the full thing. Ever tried this before, but let's try try putting today's date in. Oops. Why is down going up on the that's weird. You don't have to put the year in. Whoops. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh wait a minute, I don't know if I have my Vita's time set right. Oh well. <laughs> Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. 
It's all made from currently existing technology. Suppose the future you technology. Use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. I don't know. The big shell's layout map should now be available after touching the start yeah. button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves mm -hmm. and an analyst to work on the data too. Yeah. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. Hey, You're familiar on. with the Shadow Moses incident? Yep, you know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? No, no. April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying. You know, I kind of forgot answer. it was April that the, let you go now, Jack. the date is that Take comes care. up. So we're actually coming up on that date in real life. Yeah, now they're going to wake up all on top of each other. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Oh, shit. Have I made this harder on myself? Do I have to actually take them out? Oh my god. I can't remember how you do that. Apparently there's a way to punch them in the crotch, knock them out. I have to like duck for it? Either way, I'm probably just gonna die here, but... Back up. <laughs> ah! 
Jeez. So maybe Jack, I shouldn't do what on? I did. Answer me, Jack. Jack. Yeah, because I think the best place to hide is. Oh shit! There's no one doing that, is there? I don't know if this is gonna work as a hiding spot. Oh, it's not. Oh, really? Oh shit, this guy's gonna get me. Oh, better. Shit. So last time it wouldn't go up when they're there. Got off to a, a terrible start. <laughs> that room is always tough though. It's the same as uh someone in Twin Snakes and shit. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. Why not? He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. A lot of seagulls. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. that you could trip on the bird poop. I thought they'd call you about it eventually. That area is caked with seagull droppings. <laughs> You'll slip if you run over it. Be careful. some seals <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh yeah, I guess I could test this here. How do you... I thought it was just pressing those. Yeah! Whoops! Wrong button. <laughs> right, what's wrong? Right, right. I can't remember how I did it then. Seems like it's different in this one than it is in uh, Twin Snakes, for sure. Maybe, is it pressing the punch button? That brings you back up. Oh my god, got pooped on. It's not the back touch screen either. Why can't I think of how to do it? I know you have to be looking forward like this. It's not pushing the joystick. No, that doesn't have. Wait, it doesn't have that. D pad? That's my back touchpad's not working. I'm not sure why that would be. Hold on, let me look this up real quick. Then up here, solid two, beta, pull up. How do you do them? It is the rear touchpad, apparently. Drag both outward. Okay. Let me try this again. Huh? Problem is, I, I don't know how to hold the system and only use like one button on the back. I don't understand why it's not working. Left and right index, or middle finger, whatever's comfortable, towards the middle of the rear touchpad, drag both outward? So you have to, like, swipe? I don't remember having to do that. I thought you just put your fingers on it. I can't get it to activate. Trying to figure out like a way to do this properly. I don't know why I'm putting so much time and effort into this, but like I just can't get it to act like to even trigger that I'm moving something. Maybe my touchpad is just dying. Do you think eventually it would like? Do it a little bit, right? Maybe this is wrong. Let me just see. Up vertically on the rear touchpad, two fingers. Near the center and slide outward, or place them anywhere and slide down. I, I don't get it. Hold on, let me... I have an idea. If I go against a wall, it should be the same controls, right? Wait, is that just moving because of my joystick? I thought... Why is my touchpad not working? I'm spending way too much time on this, but I want to be able to do them, and it's just so 
who wanted to show it off. So you gotta either go from the middle and out, which does nothing. Is it my fingers or something? Like, maybe it means the front touchpad actually. Oh, it means the front touchpad. Why didn't it say front? Okay, so gotta go like this and go. What? He's moving when I do that. Why is he moving? Oh, this is awful. I just want to know how to do it so I can do it later. It's just moving sideways. So that moves sideways and that one does. But why? Let me read this again real quick. Yeah, because it says rear touchpad. How come... Then how come it's doing it with the front one? How does that make sense? Maybe you need to do both? Somehow. No, I think that's just something separate then. I don't know why my rear touchpad is not working. This, do you have to just do it like this? No. Yeah, I don't get it. How do you get in there? Go across there? Ah, oh, strange. I don't remember how you get those items. Jump that. Ah, not enough room to run. <laughs> what is that though? Can't really see. Oh well, I should move on. <laughs> Where do I actually go from here? Suddenly my brain's not working. So we came from the whiff there, right? Oh, is there a hole in maybe one of these fences? Oh, there's one right there, but... One on this side to get through? No. I think that was just going to tell me about crawling. Right. Seal Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Oh, you know what it might be? Hold on a sec.
think I can get into my settings right now while the game's going. I think there might be a setting to disable the touchpad, and I think I might have hit that. Oh, but it might be on my hack thing. Where would that be? Accessibility? Nah. I don't know, I'd have to check that later. Is there anything in here? No. I don't know, I remember something about that. I think maybe I disabled them if it, if that's an option somewhere. Maybe that's what happened. Because there are some games where they put functions to that that are just not good. I'm surprised this game, because I, I know I have the trophy for the pull-up thing. I'll have to look into that later. I spent way too much time trying to figure that out. <laughs> I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. Heavy surveillance. Any closer. It's just one guy. Them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. Got one, I see. Don't leave him lying around. Hide the body as soon as possible. When his comrades come back from the roof, you don't want him being found. If they do find him, they'll be on the alert and things can get difficult. When you take a hostile down, hide the body where a patrol is unlikely to come around. You can drag an enemy personnel's body. This is how to do it. Oh my God. First, walk up to the body, and with all weapons deselected, press the weapon button yep. to pick it up. As yep. long as you have the weapon button held down, you can move around with the body in your grasp. Release the weapon button to let go of the body. I'm guessing because they are going to come down, probably. Camera on the other side of there? Oh, because there's another room here. Konami eyes. Raiden, there's a locker over there. It's a good place to conceal yourself from enemy patrols. Face the locker and press the action button to open the door. Walk into the open locker and close the door to hide. Push the action button again to get out of the locker. You can see what's going on outside through the slit. Go into first person view and make sure the coast is clear before you walk out. Wonder, does that guy up in the roof, does he go through that door maybe? One that I couldn't get through or, oh wait, this, do this door goes there. Half grenade. Don't really need to deal with him. I 
think I'd end there. Level one. Which way am I supposed to be going? Oh, either way? You've acquired some ration. Good. This is a portable field food source that no. can be consumed to recover yeah. life. Select the ration yeah. in your window and push the enter button. You can use it on the spot and regain some life. If you have it selected, you can automatically consume the ration the moment your life runs out and avoid death. Rations not only provide nutrition, they also stimulate the immune system and lessen psychological stress. Not exactly gourmet though, is it? Stop complaining, Raiden. Hang in there, Jack. When the mission is over, I'll make you my specialty. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. No, nothing. Uh, can't wait. <laughs> I guess we'll go to A. I mean to B. It's still bothering me about that pull-ups thing when it's not working. Raiden, watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Quite more important than this one. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right. I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver, and once it runs out, you will fall. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the President. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy! Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond! Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to strut B now. Hmm, just reading. Apparently some people say the touchpad like the back touchpad just stops working on the bite after a while. So I, I thought you should be able to use it here to look sideways. I can't get it to go. It's hard to wait, did that do it? It's every so often he kind of moves, but I don't know if that's just my thumb on the joystick or what. You can just use the joystick to move side to side here, but... You can use the front. Yeah, see the front touchpad works for that. So I don't understand why the front touchpad doesn't work for uh, the pull-ups. Like, it, it moves, but it doesn't do the pull-up, oddly enough. Don't want to, like, fiddle with it right now. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. And throw him into the water here. Really?
I don't know if I can get there fast enough. Just for fun, I do want to try it again. I don't know why. So maybe I have to like look up or something? It just does that. Because the problem is it only wants to do one when I'm trying to do both. But it feels like. That's so bizarre. And this is it's the first person mode. You know, because it does it still like this. So if I just hold my thumbs in the middle of the screen, it just he starts moving sideways for some reason. But I don't understand. I use the rear touchpad, does nothing. So bizarre. I have to do some tests myself later. Either way, it's not going to be too bad to have my grip gauge not up. Oh shit. It's a gray fox. <laughs> Why would you even open that door? Freaking crazy vampire. Get down! 
Where is he? A very familiar sounding voice. <laughs> Shooting there. Them. Yeah, Queen. Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting? I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Be right there. <laughs> also, I like that Raiden hasn't questioned the gun yet. Because they, they went on a giant explanation about how we couldn't use the guns from this place. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Totally original character, not Snake at all. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking Mission 60. <laughs> Weapons 80. Advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the President? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. Hmm. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah, Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top-secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A 
Navy captain. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? I still don't know no, if he's that's supposed to be from there. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. So we didn't have to run through while things were exploding? Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Here, take this. <laughs> Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone? Come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? connecting bridge we need to get there can you handle it I need a few more minutes remember my frequency it's 141.80 141.80 got it I've been briefed on this plant's layout if you need information on the place or about dead cell contact me you're using nano communication right yeah but I can patch into your frequency Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday.
He's sleeping. Think you can shoot that thing? <laughs> He's just gonna aim at me. Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh yeah, thanks for the reminder. Sure, I guess. Yeah, I did have the... Oh, never mind. That was from Jack, the other day. do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Okay. Cool. Oh. Picture. Why can I hear this now? I kind of forgot that, that you can. <laughs> That's a transformer board over there. You can open and close the door by pushing the action button when you're in front of the door. <laughs> Funny that you can see that early. What's that robot? The whole rear touchpad thing's gonna bug me. So I wonder if I did find a way with the uh, homebrew stuff to disable the rear touchpad. This sounds like a thing I would do. Because <laughs> I remember there's some games that was really annoying in. I keep trying to find a thing that mentions it, but I can't find anything about it. Disable the rear touchpad in system settings. Where in system settings? It's a way you can do it in remote play, apparently. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Take the president! 
Ready grenades! A dud! <laughs> I always love the way that guy says that. Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? <laughs> I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. So many of them dying. Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too, it's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you... It's already Rose, freaking out. I can't out. believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. <laughs> Are you two done? Right. You're needed on Strut C. I'm just realizing if I don't have the pull-up thing, I could probably find a spot where I can drop between two railings. Just farm it that way. I remember that being a thing. That's kind of how we did it in... Uh... Wind snakes, I just don't know where there's an area like that. It's too bad I can't just do it right now because it just never seems to want to work. I'm just doing complete circles on my touchpad to see if there's any reaction. And it's got nothing. If I use the front touchpad, it lets me go side to side, but not not do an actual pull-up. So weird. Maybe you can't do it with a gun? 
No, because I didn't have a gun when I first did it. It's so strange. For some reason, I remember doing it by pressing R2 and L2, but I tried that at first and it didn't work, right? Yeah, it does nothing. Yeah, I wonder if my touchpad is just not working anymore because it, I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember... Was it Day of the Tentacle I played once on here and it just started freaking out? My rear touchpad? I remember something about that. <laughs> I can't remember, don't they do something if you call them? It's possible the terrorists will attempt mm -hmm. to destroy the big shell in retaliation for the seal strike. Defuse the bombs before they make that move. The bomb disposal expert is somewhere in Strut C where you currently are. Locate him and request his assistance. Keep that open just in case we need it. Say anything when you're in the women's washroom. I can't believe you, Jack. Do you know what that place is? Uh, I just thought maybe the bomb disposal instructor might be in there. Why would he be in there? Well, you never know. He's <laughs> AWOL and. Even AWOL, a normal guy, wouldn't go into a woman's bathroom. You're the only one I know who would. You're like really strange. Rosemary, settle down. But. It's all right. Right, Rosemary is right. You should probably look someplace else. <laughs> I can really sympathize with you there, though. What, sir? Uh, nothing. Right, that's that. Return to your duties. Mm -hmm. You guys are unbelievable. Oh, yeah, and also. Oh, no. So the. I think there's something if you do this. Also, did I just notice? It didn't write down his number. I know it's 80, right? He's sleeping. He's asleep? Wow. How much longer is this guy gonna sleep? I wish I were that relaxed. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. He's got a wrench. You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Why did he have to say it that way? Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Hey, you were just sleeping. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. 
What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Steelman. I'm lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head, also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only 10. I'm I sure. It in <laughs> and that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. Um. That was weird. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yep, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? <laughs> There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Watermelons. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. 
Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up seem too smart. the sense spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Take this. What's this? Security card issued to Shell personnel. The Big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Wrighton, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You needed to get next door to shell two. Why can't I get a level three key? How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. 
There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Semper Fi. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And Who Dares Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. I mean, he could have just been in all those different is he one things. Of the terrorists, then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. <laughs> It's weird how when it like sits there in loading screens, it's like little I'm... artifacts. Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Okay. Lots of bomb lore. to work. I didn't realize there'd be guards here. Saw the node over there. I just wanted to shoot the watermelon. Can I go now? Oh, 
What was that ducking animation he did? Freeze, huh? Don't kill me. Oh, sh oh I didn't think about it. I should have just shot him. Oh shit, well he's gonna get found out. They're probably gonna go the other way, right? Make it through. Man, I am doing terrible today. <laughs> They're totally gonna find me in here. open the door actually you know what I'll continue on with this I guess Have any uh, grenade or anything? Wait, really? Surprised by that. I guess I can wait. Look at all these bullets and blood and shit. Side. Move. You see me in the mirror, maybe? Seeing me there. Wait, you can't shoot him there? 
Basically, he's got the armor. You know what? I, I think I'm just gonna let this one go. We used too many rations. <laughs> Just sticking around a bit. Answer me. Raiden. All that because I tried to shoot the watermelon. Should I need that node though? in here with me, but I can't see him. Oh shit. Oh, he went the other way! I, oh, are you kidding me? What if I just leave and come back? Oh shit, it stays in invasion mode. I just hate not having a radar. Oh, now they're behind me. Well, just take me. To a terrible start no, today. This isn't happening. Jack, you have to answer me. Jack! Jack! So I don't know how to get into that room if I can't see him. Oh. Well, that might help. So we saw him go the other way. Can I get this guy first, maybe? Oh yeah, I already got the other guy's dog tag, right? Uh, Whoops! Uh, I'm fucking up my controls here. That's what I wanted. I'm surprised I got away with shooting him. Now how can I... Something is right there. Think about it. Does it save the the dog tags if you die? I actually don't know. I only have two. Yeah, so it's hmm. Oh yeah, I guess that, that was, those were the two, right? Right about the bomb, to be honest. Right in here. 
I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations, too. And none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far, we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. <laughs> Oh no. Now I got these ciphers. Is nobody out here though? So I guess I can't lean if I don't have the room. Because I guess that's what the reverse touch, the back touch screen would do. Kind of irritating that I can't lean. Where do you go? Oh. Oh hey, yeah, I wanted to check out that one thing. He's not sleeping. Right, another C4 down. There was one planted pretty high up on the ceiling. The coolant spray couldn't reach that far, so I had to get up on a stand to do it. Tell me a little more about Dead Cell. Mm -hmm. Dead Cell was a shadow unit. I thought there was a conversation you could have with them about the Pentazeman. Right. They handled surprise raids on vital government facilities, didn't they? Yes. They were originally put together to check the nation's military security system. The unit was the brainchild oh, of President George Sears. Dead Cell was a secret unit positioned at the opposite end of anti-terrorist outfits such as Delta Force and SEALs. Were they always a... Group of madmen? Yeah. No. They got weird when Colonel Jackson, Fortune's husband, was sent to jail. Sent to jail? For what? Corruption. He misappropriated government funds. Sounds like he deserved it. That's what everybody else thought, except for the members of Dead Cell. They felt the colonel was falsely accused. Fact is, they took the case to the powers that be, but they never managed to reopen the case. Was there any truth to their claim? Who knows? Whatever the situation is, Dead Cell's name was tainted. And Colonel Jackson? He was being held at Leavenworth. Was? Meaning he's been released? Well, in a manner of speaking, the colonel's dead. Oh. Apparently, he lost the will to live and died in prison. The members of Dead Cell snapped with the loss of their leader. They underwent a radical change and became uncontrollable. And that's why they undertook this terrorist operation. Seems as good a reason as any. know where this one is. Oh, there's two guards in there. Shit, I don't know if I can get them both if I just have the SOCOM.
I have to take out one with a neck snap and then go after the other one if I want his uh, dog tags. Or... Nice too close now. Sam, I saw two off to the side. Oh, there's an achievement I want to get here, I saw before. Oh no. It wasn't close enough. Oh, are they on the other side? On the other side, I can. I'm gonna get caught here. Oh my god! Just take me. Wait, is it just the two guys? Taking a sweet time. Ryden, what's going on? Ryden, Ryden. Just having an M9 and shit and <laughs> a silencer. Getting my ass beat. I want to get in there and take them out, but at the same time. I guess I could just do what I did before, but this time stay off to the side more. I couldn't see. I was trying to look on the radar only. You're not going to search it. It's a pain in the ass. I just want to deal with the two of them. They watch each other's back like crazy. Can't go yet. I wonder if I can get away with this. Freeze. <gasps> I 
Oh shit. Managing these controls is really hard sometimes. That worked out better than I thought it would. I just gotta wait for him to come around and turn around again. Does he just go down from there? Shit, he's up top, isn't he? Oh, he is too. Are you fucking kidding me? How can I... Me so quick. I can really see this entire room, it's crazy. Oh, that was the one with the body. Body disappeared though. This room is taking way longer than it should for how simple it is. I'm assuming they're gonna replace both guards. say on one of them. Maybe I should hold off on the uh, dog tag thing until I get a silencer. Or an M9 or something. Because the controls of switching back and forth between weapons and shit, it's really difficult. <laughs> Just the one guy? No, both of them. Fuck. What? How did that guy? number what I was already a guy here you know what just take me <laughs> right come in right right jeez It appears that Fat Man placed bombs within each of the struts. I thought we could mention no bombs that one. On the connecting bridges. Head for the struts for which you have not yet finished disposing of the C4. It's 
Let's see if I can recover some life. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna go against the wall and it's already going. Doesn't help me. I am not stealthing very well today. My defense, that guy wanted me to shoot him and I didn't know what to do. It's not prepared for that. guy I can just kill. Probably another guy in the roof, right? Oh, my health. Yeah, so it's down there. Should I go down to that first room? There'd be three guys down there, right? There's, I don't know if I... I don't know if I have the patience for that. Trying to get their dog tags. I just know that this game has, like, rewards for dog tags. And first one didn't pop. Excuse me? He saw me through the tiny part in the fence? I didn't think the guards are clever enough to see through that. This game, man. fire that one. Oh, there's a bomb. This is Raiden. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. You're taking too much time. You should work a little faster. There's no Bowie. time, Raiden. I've got my hands full here, so it doesn't look like Maybe. I can help you. It's in your hands. Raiden, there's a possibility that C4 was planted indoors as well as on the roof. Go inside and confirm this. They say stuff stuff you do too many of them. Where's they haven't yet?
Can you even go back down? I don't really know how you would. There's no button or anything to activate it. Not gonna say anything. What if I call him myself? Raiden Stillman is a top-notch explosives technician. Follow his orders and disarm the explosives. Okay, but exactly who is Peter Stillman? Gotcha. The guy I'll we just about... met. Hold on a moment. Not many birds left. Oh. Maybe you have to do it faster. It's weird that they're not saying anything. sworn there was a message. Maybe you have to do it before the bomb defusal mission or something. Wait, there's another guard in there? Freeze! Huh? Don't kill me! Ready to get in here. Spot to crawl under, but yeah, here. found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm going to tell Pliskin to watch his back, too. Just hurry. Hmm, how do you get to the... Are you over there? Okay, wondering. 
ox one. Make doubly sure you stay out of the enemy sight. If the radar goes offline, the sensor is useless. The C4s will become invisible to you again. One more bomb defused. There was one I managed to find only because I took a good look at first person view. You should try it too. <laughs> Thought we could talk to him with the box. around here right? oh, I forgot to do the thing where you can see snake crossing into the other area So we can't shoot that until we deal with the guard, but what do we do with this guard? Where is he? He went down below, but he come back up the side? Oh, he's on the other side there again. Do you just stay on that side? I don't think the cipher can see you from there. Hope he can't see me from there. Yeah! Whoops! I thought I could stay for half a second longer, but what no. What the hell happened? Right, right in. Damn. This is why you need grip strength. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna blame it on. Might be an area where you could practice uh, falling off, though. Freeze! <gasps> Are you going to shoot me? I can't believe it didn't see me during that. Ow. Oh, but no, I don't think you can drop and grab on here because it overlaps. Hmm. It's too bad. Should I take the lower path or the higher path? I don't remember what this area looks like. Warehouse? Oh, the lower path's probably tiny if it's the place I'm thinking of. Oh, but the node. Oh, shit. Like I chose poorly. I heard a guy sleeping. Mind detector.
remember hiding in this room a lot for some reason. How do you get back there? Seriously. You don't get there from underneath. missing here can't like crawl in between that I think the sleeping guys down that hallway just have no way to tell this shit ah I knew it blood, I just realized. You said none of the nodes in here? I think I can get away with this? I can't believe I got away with that. Where did the... Did he pick up his dog tag? I wasn't paying attention. Is that actually a thing that could happen? Wait. They're not gonna check here, are they? I can't believe he took his dog tag back. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't think they could do that. I thought I saw him do something before he left. So what do I do? Drag him back in here and get it back? Should I drag him in the other room? Hmm? Oh, for fuck's sakes! Alert them. Shoot. 
Fuck it. Just take me. I don't know if I can get the dog tags in this room. Right. Right. That's insane. How come pushing them towards the guards? I didn't mean to do that. Oh. I could have gotten away with that. <laughs> that was so... I can't believe he didn't notice me in the corner like that. But if I didn't flip him, if I just grabbed him, I could have gotten away with it. Why am I so adamant on getting these, uh... Dog tags. I don't know why my gun didn't come out when I tried that time. Nothing here. Look, it adds more fun and excitement to the stream, I think. <laughs> so I let, I let him go, and then I did that. Yeah, and it wouldn't work. Freeze, move. If you're going to shoot. Oh, fuck me. Not one of these guys. Oh, shit. What? That's just me fucking up the controls. <laughs> Did I shoot his radio off his back? Okay, so this guy is one of those guys that you need to shoot. Which means I think I'm just gonna... Well, for some reason I remembered something. I don't know I don't know if I want to try that, but... Isn't there some way to like use the coolant against people? Or dog tags or something? This guy saw me, was it? I need some help that node nobody in this box you shot at it Reinforcements are 
What's going on? They find the blood trail again? Is that what that was? They just discover the body. There's no way, right? So they replace both guards. I do the sleeping guard. Wait, is that guy not the patrolling one? Is the patrolling guy gone? No, that's them right there, right? He's just patrolling the way that I didn't think. Yeah, there are two guys down on the bottom floor. So he does look every so often. That's where I got screwed up by. Am I doing this again? Freeze. <clears throat> Shit, the guy's right there, though. Don't shoot. I don't know what I was thinking there. Why do I keep trying this? Move. Can it find out or not? Clear. Yeah, and I don't know if. Does it keep it if I were to, like, die? I'm not sure. I have actually no idea. Wait, not scope. Even though I know where the bomb is, I saw it out there. Today I'm just doing shenanigans in this game. <laughs> Wasted so much time on this, just looking for the bombs. So I want to get a decent amount of these dog tags. But it feels like they're easier to get in uh, Twin Snakes. Where does this go? Oh, does it go to that one area? Oh, I shouldn't have been doing this. So now if I go to take out the sleeping guard, I can just kill him outright. Are you kidding me? The freaking suppressor was right there. Changes things a bit. 
What was that? Oh, it's the mine detector. I need to nab that. his body still here if they know he's there Two of them, I could go out there and nab that guy. Freeze! No! If you're going to shoot, then shoot me. Ah! Oh, did I get him in one hit? I accidentally shot him in the heart. Shoot me! Out a lot better with uh, the. Oh, I have to drop from above to get that one? I remember this. Grab it. Oh, shit. Fuck, they're gonna come that way. They came that way. Enemy personnel on board. All units, maximum alert. Send a replacement guard for the area. Understood. Reinforcements on the way to Strudev. Intensify the level of security. Ooh. Now they're gonna replace all the guards on me. I mean, getting that bomb is going to be hard. Wait a minute, I just see something on the map. Shit, this early. I guess it makes sense, right? Things are looking up. I should reset the room real quick. Like, I know they're gonna come back and all that shit, but this saves my uh, dog tags indefinitely. I still don't know if it gets rid of them anyway, but. 
So there's one guy down there I don't have the dog tags for, but do I really want to bother? How do I want to approach this shit? Should just wake him up, right? Unable to locate the ancient soldier. Nothing else to report. I don't know if that's the guy I'm missing the thing for or not. I just gonna say the status report thing in. Do I want to deal with this guy too, or what? Climb in this box? Is there anything over here? Oh, doors I can't open. Ah, shit, I can't. Can't get a sight on them. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Really? Just his head was blocked out there. How did you get to that one? Well, I'll get the bomb one first, I guess. There's a guard missing, actually. Shit. Pretty sure you're supposed to jump from a box to another one, but I'm, I don't want to bother that for a magazine. You can't climb on these? Oh, there we go. you have to do that? That sounds like so much effort. <laughs> Keeps trying to crouch instead of do a flip. Why is it doing that? Can I do it from here? Oh my god. How much runway do you need to get it to do a flip? not cooperating with me at all. 
Climb up! I'm trying to step back or something, but it doesn't work. Ah, whatever. Screw it. Oh, we need it. It took like a million years, but we got it. In general, I'm just taking forever today. I'm stubborn. But I'm having fun, that's all that matters. Going up to the roof. Oh, this is the sniper guy. Whoops. We have made that shot. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Ray Fox? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too, but the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. It's is been it dead before. Trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. Gather up some claymores. That is a lot of birds. Do you actually enjoy <laughs> helpless animals? I don't believe this. Maybe. I had no idea you were that kind of a monster. I don't understand you, right? What a if you're satisfied, get what back to the mission. About? Well, I don't want to waste any more ammo, but I can't remember now if. Don't they say something if you try to go over here? Nah, I thought there would be some sort of message. Oh god, why did I do this? Wish I could improve my grip. It actually goes down a lot slower than this one than Twin Snakes, though.
Jack, do you remember the day we met? No. I'm kind of busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There are all these tourists around you in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence Beautiful. that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break. Save it real quick. I haven't saved it in like a million years. What's up, Jack? I looked into Mr. Peter Stillman's file. Full name is Peter Stillman, known as Peg Leg Peter. He is a legendary bomb disposal technician. He is that? also a longtime instructor at the Naval School Explosive Ordnance Disposal mm, yeah. and a consultant for the NYPD Bomb Squad. But five years ago, he lost his leg in an accident. Mm, and since yeah. then, he hung up his gloves to focus on being a lecturer. He was called back into service because, as he said, he is the only explosive specialist who can stop Fat Man. Although no longer an active consultant, he is still without a doubt the number one guy when it comes to disarming explosives. He should be very helpful to you. Okay, I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. I wish I could look around a little better. And that's why I wish I could look around a little better. So I'm gonna be Enders. find the body if they haven't already. And my memory on some of these rooms is completely shot. As soon as the camera saw me, I was like, oh yeah, there's a camera there, but... I don't know where the note is on this area. goes here because I know where the fact that the gas is all over the room it means it's on one of the boxes I have no way of like checking up there Sakes. Oh, camera's done. Just use the M9 here. I think I was getting cocky on how well I did the, uh, the uh, first part with Snake. I was doing well on that one. Then I'm playing as Raiden. I forgot how like confusing some of these rooms are. Not as bad once you get the nodes and shit, but the lack of a radar is really something that gets me. That guy's still dead. Nobody replaced him? No, there's no way. I have to clear this room, I think, a little better.
I don't really even see anyone. I heard someone say nothing here, but oh. Guy over there, is that the same guy? Or are there two guys that are out walking around? That's a camera. Nothing here. Oh. What's that? What? You, they never usually see you when you're under stuff. might not count because it's the wrong box. Maybe they don't care? I should forget about the uh, dog tags, but oh, it's the same box that they have over there. I guess because this area is where the, all the boxes come. Card over there now. Did they replace the guy who died? of any camera control is <laughs> just no camera control and no no radar so no matter what I do here I'm kind of screwed Area. If you just step on that conveyor belt, I think you can transport. Uh, where's the best area for disarming this bomb? Where's that camera? Where does it come out?
I know it's one of those boxes. Did it not come by this area? Raiden reporting. All C4 in Strut E has been frozen and disposed of. The baggage moving on the conveyor belt was set to go off. <laughs> Looks like you like to fight. Still, it would be wiser hmm. to proceed more stealthily. Right. The roof of that strut is accessible. Check there as well. Surprised they say stuff like that. It's not that I like to fight, it's that I just kind of have to. How many do I end up with right now? Eleven? There's so much more of them than this one it feels like too. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw Oops. a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? I was, uh, connecting bridge to wiping my screen off, and it, I forgot the zooms so like that. Me this time. I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. Nice foot. A female soldier, Russian, must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No, she commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. There's guards up here. Not sure the best area is to hide. Freeze! 
Don't kill me. I don't know if there's an animation in this one for throwing them off. Is that everyone, or is there a third guy? What am I looking at on the map? Someone below me? See the light anywhere? Right in here. The C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Wait. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Right. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. Yeah, so all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. These are sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I'll go see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you? Where do Pliskin? I have one to go? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay, it'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I, I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb, five years ago, I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Huh. So many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. <sighs> I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield has become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission. 
and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs, then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for peg leg, Peter. He's gone for good. Oh no, we started on C, didn't we? Yeah, so, yeah. We didn't go to D yet. Okay, I, I thought it was miscounting or something, because I was like, well, wait, where's the last one? I thought this was the last one, but no. Wait, can I? No, there's no railing there. Also, if I came over this way, what's the other way? Can I make it to him without him turning? Freeze! <gasps> Are you going to shoot me? Oh, he didn't... He didn't want to give me his dog tag. I've made a fatal mistake. Huh? Hmm? Wow, he kicks you real quick. still eh. I didn't think it would remember that
Is that his road? He just keeps going up here? Why am I using the sensor actually? That's fine. I'm sure I already got that guy, is right? I always try again. Last time the camera got me from there. <laughs> now the guy above is going to taunt me with being alive again. This isn't the place to test it, is it? figure out this guy's pattern.
Freeze! <gasps> Are you going to shoot me? <laughs> Uh, do I want to be in the bottom of this one? Oh, this is the pool one. Right by the node. Guards up top, guard on the other side, another guard up top. Nothing here. Oh shit, what am I doing? Thought about shooting his radio out of his hand, but... But there's so many guards in this room. Fuck, I'm I'm screwed completely. Nothing here. Freeze! No. If you're going to shoot, then shoot me. Shit. In the corner like that. I'm in trouble. It's gonna take too long from the get here. Oh wow, they went right for it, didn't they? Into the water we go! <laughs> How am I right. gonna do this for real? Right. Right. There's just there's way too many guards in this room. There's the bomb. Right. Right in. And 
Hard mode is kicking my ass today. I think I'm gonna just, just have to shoot everyone in this room. Turning your head. Nothing here. Ah. There's another bomb here. Oh my god. Ah! We're going violent here. Might as well shoot this guy, right? That didn't kill him. Even an attack team around. Huh? What was that just now? Oh fuck, he's going over there. Oh. Hmm? There's somebody there. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? It's the enemy. Down. Uh, you can just throw this with the tranquilizer gun? Oh, we're in trouble though. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on Wait, the Wait, they said there was one more, but there was two struts. Way ahead of me, or one kid. strut, I mean. I still have one to go. Two bombs. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. 
I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, Ryden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. Okay. I'll stand by until you radio in. Hopefully they don't come from this direction. Oh, I just realized this is the area to test out, uh... Like, that's the area to actually do the grip thing. You can jump down and grab onto the second layer. I have to take everyone out, though, for that to happen. Ooh! Jeez. stream where I'm gonna stop though. I guess this is a good stopping point, grabbing like we'll save it here and then grab this another day and start the rest of the thing. It's hoping to get done fat man but I forgot there's so much here. Jack, do you need to save? Definitely took my sweet time today because of all these rooms that I got stuck on. <laughs> Last time I played it took a while too because it took me 15 hours to get through. I can't believe it. Stillman's prosthetic leg was all a big lie. Don't be too hard on him, Rose. But he's got no right to go around pretending he's got a prosthetic leg. She is right. That's an insult to people who really can't walk. Everyone's got their own reasons. Sometimes you've got no choice but to lie. You're right. I, I guess it is necessary sometimes. Rose? It's nothing. Well, see ya. <laughs> Not ominous at all. But anyways, this is a good stopping point for tonight. Oh man, my battery's actually pretty well in the beta. It's kind of surprising. Oh, I guess, yeah, actually I did play longer today than I did uh, the other day. Because we only played half a game. But anyways, that is it for me tonight. I think tomorrow I might start early so I can... See if I can finish off in Infinite Wealth. If I can, then Metal Gear will slot over to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Anyways, GG's. Thanks for watching. I uh, will see you guys later. Bye-bye.